hey y'all i'm back with another video today's video is kind of different i am going to do a post-op recovery video um everyone that knows me knows that i just had my second round bbl so here i am at ivana wellness spa and recovery with my girl kia about to get one of my lymphatic drainage massages and then we'll jump into the rest of the video enjoy <laughs> you guys so i'm just sweating my hair getting it prepped for the shampoo you guys know i love my cantu moisturizing shampoo it's designed for texture hair and it works very well on coils curls and waves even if your hair is straight it will still work great for your hair um basically it has a lot of moisturizing properties that are great for keeping your hair healthy and strong and thick um and it is safe to use every day, whether you have chemically relaxed hair, colored, pressed, or perms. Um, the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Cream Shampoo is gentle enough to use every day. So no matter if I use a different conditioner, I definitely still use this shampoo no matter what. Next, I'm going to use my Dr. Teal's Essential Oil Coconut Conditioner. It is enriched with coconut essence and a blend of complementary essential oils. It is infused with moisturizers and essential nutrients to help nourish and replenish your dry, damaged hair. And the coconut scent is very smoothing and luxurious. It makes you feel so good. It's also free of sulfates, parabens, silicones, and gluten. And it's also cruelty-free and vegan-friendly. to use my pure silk shave cream it gives a very thick lather which i like which makes it easier for a smoother shave i'm only doing my armpits at this moment because i did get thigh lipo and my thighs are very sensitive and swollen still so even though my incisions are closed i'm still just going to do my armpits so directly after that, I'm going to go in with my Dial Soap. My Dial Soap is an antibacterial soap which kills 99.9% .9 of germs, which is very important when you just had surgery. You're supposed to use this soap prior to your surgery and after, especially if your incisions are still open. You do not want to catch any infections. You can also use another soap, which is called Hybe Cleanse. I recommend both of these soaps. But most importantly, Hybe Cleanse, if you don't get the dial, definitely get the Hybe Cleanse, but continue to use it even post-op to make sure that your body remains healthy and that you don't have to go to the hospital for any infections. Cetaphil Extra Gentle Daily Scrub. It's a gentle cleanser, it removes dirt, oil, and impurities. Um, it does buff away dry and dull skin. It's infused with hydrating glycerin and vitamins B5 and E. It also leaves your skin feeling soft, smooth, and radiant, and it won't clog your pores. So I do use this scrub every day. It's a daily scrub and it will leave your face feeling nice and smooth. Here's another one of my 
my favorite products, which is the Winky Lux Vitamin C Exfoliator. It has plenty of benefits such as brightening and enhancing your skin radiance. It does boost cell turnover, moisturizes and nourishes your skin. It is suitable for all skin types and is formulated with three vitamin C, three forms of vitamin C plus lactic acid. So while I have the exfoliator on my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my teeth. In the meantime, you should leave it on your face for about two minutes. I usually leave it on for about five minutes. Um, so I just brush my teeth in the meantime, and then once I'm finished, I'm just gonna rinse all of that off together. I'm just gonna go in with my Thayer's Facial Mist. It does have witch hazel in it and it is unscented and alcohol free, which I love and it does leave your face feeling very fresh. into my skin and then I go in with my Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisturizer. Um, I love this moisturizer because it does provide 24 hour hydration and it does visibly reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles in your face. You can use it in the morning or at night. You just massage it evenly over your face, neck, chest and anywhere else you fit. did this backwards I'm supposed to do my serum before my moisturizer just so you guys know but next I am using my vitamins and C beauty dead seed minerals um, moisturizer it helps fight the signs of aging it gives you a brighter more hydrated appearance also it reduces the redness and it evens your skin tones it's also known to reduce dark spots and dullness in your face and boost your skin firm Lastly, I use my Tree Hut Lip Butter for some soft, smooth, moisturized lips. Mwah. Oh yeah, girl, we can't forget them edges. Here's my Jamaican Black Castor Oil. It does have argan oil in it. I just put those on my edges. You can put them on your eyelashes, and you can put it on your eyebrows, anywhere where you need a little push, okay? So I just rub that in, and oh, it feels so good, as you can see. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> But that's about it. And I just put my hair up so I could get ready to lay down. So now I'm going to apply my Arnica gel to all of my bruises. As you can see, I still have bruises on my legs. I have bruises on my stomach, I still have bruises on my butt, so my boyfriend is just helping me apply the Arnica gel to all of the bruises. Arnica gel does help the appearance of bruises and the swelling. Then you're going to use the Kilo Cote, it's a scar gel, this is where all my incisions are, I'm going to put that on there just to reduce the appearance of the scars of my incisions because nobody wants that. Nobody needs to know I had surgery, okay? So he's just putting them on all of my incisions. I have a few on my front and my stomach, my back. Um, I believe I had about maybe 10 incisions. So finally, we are putting on the faha. And when I tell you, it's so much work getting in and out your faha. So first you're going to get your seamless tank top, which I have on. You're gonna put that on to protect you from any faha burns. Or light or burns from the lipo foams. Um, he's helping me put my triangle in. My triangle is in in the back. You're gonna tuck your shirt in and then begin to put in your lipo foams. You're gonna put one on each side. That's an extra board that I did get from 
my surgery center. I'm not sure how you can order that online, but you can buy a 360 um, lipo board. But I like to put those on top of my lipo foams just for extra protection when I sit down so I'm not getting a crease on my side. Um, so I put that on top of my lipo foam and then I put my lipo foam one down in the bottom just for extra uh, compression on my lower stomach. And then I put another one on top of that to get the top part of my stomach because I just feel like the more compression, the better for your body and the more sculpted you will be and the less swelling. So the more compression, the better because you do not want to swell. That hurts. And that's the reason why you get your massages. So once you have all that in, you're gonna put it on the hook that you can bear. You don't wanna kill yourself, but you know, you're gonna put on the hook that you can bear. And that's pretty much it. So now he's helping me put on my compression socks because I still can't bend down, but the compression socks are important. It helps protect you from getting blood clots in your legs, which can travel to your lungs, which is very fatal. So you're going to wear your compression socks as long as possible. <laughs> There's my daughter. Um, but I have the thigh high compression socks because I have thigh lipo and I really need that compression in my upper thighs. about your post care is feeding the fat because you don't want to go through all that pain to get your ass and then you don't feed the fat so I'm making a smoothie using ice cream um, some peanut butter almonds which are high in fat it's a healthy fat and also this pro bulk mass builder that I bought from GNC it has 1340 calories in the serving size so my goal is to eat 2,000 calories a day to maintain my weight and continue feeding my fat. So just that alone is perfect. So you really can add milk as well in this shake because the mass powder is it's a very thick powder. So you want to add some type of liquid. But what I like to do is I like to add either an insure or an equate because that does add an additional 350 calories or 250 calories depending on which one you purchase. But I purchased the Equate Plus which has 350 calories in each of those shakes and I add that to my smoothie and then I like to just lay down. So you can make this in the morning or at night but I prefer night because it'll sit on my stomach better um, than in the morning. You know, I'm just being lazy. I'm not working out or I'm not walking around or anything like that. So it'll help me gain the weight faster. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I just make my smoothie or a milkshake, whatever you want to call it, um, and lay down for the night. And then I also make sure I still drink my water in between, you know, so I can continue to drain. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will continue to show you my post-op journey. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.